Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we'll be continuing on with this crazy bunch of Pokemon that we've got on your screen in front of you right now. As always, the team is down in the description below. There is a Raw Paste and a Poker Paste of the team. We've made a few adjustments from yesterday's shenanigans where we've taken the Focus Blast off Wigglytuff and give it the Focus... Uh, sorry, we've taken Focus Punch off. And give it Focus Blast, because that's the one there. The, the misunderstanding is already <laughs> seeping in. So we've changed that. We've changed up the Volcarona. Give it a bit more of a support role in the team. Give it Rage Powder, Whirlwind. Something to just help against Xerneas. And we do have access to those bonus buttons today. But I don't want to activate them just yet. We come off a little bit of momentum from yesterday's episode and if you haven't seen yesterday's or monday's episode already i'll link a card up here for you. you can check out how the teams got on so far and a little reasoning behind why i want to give this squad one more chance before we do activate those bonus buttons so it's more likely we'll activate those tomorrow but as i say today we want to just give the team a little bit more of a chance so just to recap we've got the wigglytuff the Dawn Wings, the Lugia, Volcarona, Lorantis, and the Hitmontop. And it is a mad bunch of Pokemon, but a really cool bunch of Pokemon that I do enjoy using and have been enjoying using. So that's the reason why I want to continue on with it today. So we'll hop straight into it. The music's on. If you enjoy this content, guys, please remember to drop a like on the video to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and guarantee there is a lot more coming. And do leave your comments down below because I do love hearing from you. It's great when I get to work in the morning. I'm just scroll through I will reply if I've got time if I haven't but just reading your comments does brighten up my day when I get to work in the morning so we've got a first opponent straight away our joys uh, so we'll hop straight into team preview what is this another roulette team you would say maybe it is, but <laughs> maybe it's not. Looks a little bit more solid than ours. We've got Tapu Bulu, the memeiest of the Tapus. We've got Kyogre, Scrafty, Thunderous Therian, Tapu Lele, and Giratina. We know how good Giratina is from a few weeks ago when we were using it on the, the channel. So, um, right, what's this team all about? Has it got Trick Room? No. Has it got Tailwind? Yes. So Giratina could be the speed control here. Um, other than that, there's not really any speed control. So which way do we want to go? got to say that Lugia doesn't look too bad in this matchup, honestly. Um, I think getting around the Giratina is going to be a little bit difficult, for sure. Um, but Lugia does well against the Scrafty. They obviously got to watch out for those dark type attacks. It does well against the Bulu. Uh, the Thunderous does cause us a few issues. The Lele is not too bad. Um, the Kyogre. Again, we've got Lorantis, so it might be worth bringing Lorantis and Necrozma in the back. Um, Benching Volcarona. Could Wigglytuff be good here? Hmm. Potentially, but its damage output is a little bit whiffy. So I'm going to just bench it for this one. We'll bring it to the next one if we can. And we'll get into this first one today. So, yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just feel like the team misses that steel type. It needs a steel type. Like, Stack Attacker would be incredibly good in this team. Even Steelix, Mega Steelix would be interesting. It would be uh, really cool. I've just realized as well, do we even have a Mega on our team? I don't think we, <laughs> we don't even have a Mega. Okay, well, we don't need a Mega. It's all right. It's all right, isn't it? Some weeks we don't have a Mega, some weeks... Well, we always make sure that we have restricted Pokemon, don't we? We're going to see Tapu Lele and Scrafty come out for my opponent. Um... What's this Scrafty going to do? Could we go for the Z Tailwind or are we just going to waste it if we go for it? I do probably want to switch out um, the Hitmon top here because we're going to take a, a Psychic type attack, I think. Dawn Wings isn't a bad replacement for it, in all honesty. And we could go for the Z Tailwind boost those critical hit rates and get uh, Dawn Wings in. And then we've got a way to actually hit the Lele and potentially do some damage to the Scrafty as well with the, the Lugia once we get the the crick boost um the worrying thing is it can still fake us out but we're not going to see that so uh, ignoring the psychic terrain uh, doesn't affect flying type attackers that was the risk there for us obviously um lugia being a flying type was still prone to that fake out but maybe the double up into that slot's the other option that my opponent's going for here um okay double zemo um good job that we got two psychic types on the field right now uh, so we're going to see the Shattered Psyche, one of my all-time favourite Z-moves uh, from our good old, my favourite, Tapu Lele here. Uh, where's it going into? 
Bone Wings, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I can't really understand that you waste that on a hit on top, but you may expect the switch so you might want to nuke something like that it does a nice chunk of damage doesn't it in the knockoff into the Lugia but multi-scale coming in handy 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 there so um we'll go for the aeroblast I don't expect it to pick up the knockout onto the scrafty but we will go for a moon guys beam into the lele and try and pick up the knockout there you never know how it depends how the scrafty's built if it's a salt vest like they normally are then we're probably not going to be picking up the knockout but if it's quite offensive and frail and this has got every chance to pick up the knockout which would be incredible and uh, no unfortunately it doesn't pick up the knockout there but that's all right moon guys beam into the lele probably be better going for that into the scrafty super fang ah but lugia avoids so we get away with that one um get a little bit lucky there actually we'll go for that moon guys beam into the lele once again um are we going to be out yeah we should add speed the lele to be honest with necrozma yeah just got to think about it sometimes. I'm always that used to seeing Scarf Lele, but then when the Z moves kind of procked, you feel a lot better about it, don't you? Uh, Scrafty will go down this turn, um, and the Lele should as well. So Scrafty going to withdraw. What are we going to see come in? Thunderous. Going to be able to take these um, these Aeroblasts a little bit better, but it still should do a decent chunk of damage. The Thunderous is going to be a bit tricky to deal with, to be honest. Um, and there's the Moon Guys Beam. This will be enough to get this Lele and will we be able to outspeed the Thunderous because if we can we should be able to pick up the knockout onto it next turn which is which would be really nice if we can Photon Geyser boosted in the Psychic Train will be enough to get it for sure um, and if the Scrafty comes in it can't fake our Dawn Wings out yeah it is the Scrafty mm. let's check our speeds it could be Scarfed Thunderous theory could be. Uh, I don't know if it is or not. I always like the idea of Scarfed in a restricted format. I'm just going to double check my uh, my my Pokemans. Pokemans. Let's see what speed stat we're sitting at with Dawn Wings. 87. So yeah, yeah, we will. We should. Yeah, we will outspeed it. We will. We will. We will. We will. Uh, we can go Aeroblast into Scrafty, and then we'll go for that Force on Geyser, which should pick up the Thunderous, unless it is Scarfed, and then we're in a bit of trouble. Fake out into Lugia, which is fine. Uh, we expected that. I think you would have been better off going for that turn one as well. Uh, would have put you in a bit of a better position as the Photon guys are now gone into the Thunderous. At least denying the, the Tailwind turn one while you get that uh, powerful Z move into the, the Dawn Wings the next turn. And then you're not so susceptible to um, the Moon Guys beam the following turn. That would have been my my idea anyway. But the Lugia now going to. Uh, sorry, the Kyoga. The Kyoga. Primal Kyog are going to hit the field now. Uh, we've got Lorantis in the back, so now we can get rid of the Scrafty and then get some damage onto this Kyogre. And whatever happens, Lorantis will be able to come in and, and pick it up. Pick up the remainders, but Lugia might be able to just do it itself. It's performed not too bad in this match, to be honest. Um, yeah, we'll go for Photon, guys. I may as well take advantage of that Psychic Terrain while we can. Kyogre just going to protect. Um, I doubt the Scrafty's got Protect, to be honest, no. Uh, so there's the Aeroblast. And picking up the Scrafty, and it's just Kyogre versus the world. I don't think we've not crit, so that's good. The uh, the Z-Tailwind coming in super clutch for us here, uh, as the Kyogre does. Protect, the Tailwind will dissipate. Oh, has it already dissipated? Did it run out the last turn? Yeah gone <laughs> it's long gone okay we'll go for the aeroblast into kyoga um i mean we'll try and get a photon geyser into it but i don't think uh we'll be out speeding the kyoga unless it's minimum speed which i doubt it in this sort of build there's another crit nice damage origin pulse yeah it does connect so that's dawn wings gone uh thankfully lugia able to to take that quite handily because of its just sheer bulk and uh, then we'll move, make way for Laurentis to come in and clean up so that will take us to actually three wins three wins two losses which is great because that means we're positive for the first time this week uh, which is which is great news and uh, if we can kind of keep that momentum going into tomorrow when we do activate those buttons it means that we're in really good stead to end the week in pretty good shape so we'll see what happens anyway there's the ice beam from the Kyogre 
Ah. <laughs> Kaga's stealing these crit boosts from us. Paul Laurentis not even getting a chance to move here. Um, and I swear to God, if this Kyoga protects on our fake out. Well, I'm just, I'm just going to say it now. There's like l very little point apart from time wasting to do this. So I'm just hoping. You see it so often though. You see it so often. It's like you're in a position where you cannot win. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> I don't know what this achieves. I don't know what it achieves. It's a, such a bad habit players get into. I can understand in a best of three game where you maybe want to scout out that little bit of extra information from your opponent to just find out if they leak anything. In a best of one, where there is no way, no way of you coming back from this position, I don't know why that protect is there. It's always the way. Protect's available, we may as well use it. It's not gonna change anything, but we'll we'll do it anyway. Good game, Art Joyce, and I'm not having a go at you specifically. I'm just generalizing that it is something that we see a lot of Pokemon players do. For some reason or another. Like I say, the best of three situation I can understand, but best of one. Stop wasting everyone's time. It's, uh, <laughs> there's no point in doing it. <laughs> it's just, we could have saved ourselves at least 30 seconds there. Even though, th what's 30 seconds in the grand scheme of things? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, it's just an observation that I've made, you know. I'm sure you guys have as well. Um, Let's get some music on the go. So we are... Three wins, two losses. Ultra Recon Squad is going to be the next track that we'll play. Um, and yes, what else is going on in the world of Osiris Studios this week? We have got uh, Flinch Squad Circuit matches galore this week. So we'll have all the top eight matches. We'll have our top four matches and whew, hopefully our final. Maybe the final will be early next week, but uh, we'll see how we get on with that. But lots of that uh, will be streaming on Thursday night as well, so do come by on Twitch. It'll be a lot of fun playing serious Pokemon, not roulette Pokemon. But uh, it'll be nice to see you all hanging out. And if you want to know when I go live over on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. OsirisVGC is my handle, and uh, I always tweet out when I'm going live. So then you will know, and you can come out and hang out with us and have a lot of fun. And it is generally a lot of fun when we do do the streams. But we've got an next opponent, so let's hop over to team preview okay we're going up against Ampharos, Kyoga, Serena, Bishop, in Infernip and the Lunala so we've got Lunala Kyoga combination Ooh, looks like trick room more than anything to me anyway because I think we were looking at probably Mega Ampharos we've got the fast fake out user there in, in, in Infernip uh, to really help support that trick room setup as well um, and then also, also the, the Serena there to prevent any oncoming fake outs if they're faster uh, Help and hand support there as well Bishop's gonna make it difficult for us to get going with Necrozma for sure um, hmm. This is really tricky actually really really tricky uh, hmm. Could we do here? Could we go Lugia? Lugia doesn't like Mega Amphros in the slightest No, not at all um, Wigglytuff could be good. Let's go Lugia, Wigglytuff. And uh, I just think we're bringing the most random selection of Pokemon here when I really wanted to bring Lorantis to this match and I think it would have been incredibly good. Wasn't the Pokemon that we were able to lock in so I think we're gonna have a real mismatch of Pokemon here. But it might work out, it might work out. We've got a little bit of a wriggle room, I will say. And this is just down to me talking too much in Team Preview. We should have been on point Talking about the team and getting going. Uh, but at least we're not procking any any defiant uh, abilities here. Uh, the, the bishop is a little bit scary though. Uh, we could go Z Tailwind for sure. Turn one. What have we got in the back? Um, we got the Volcarona, which might not be a bad thing to bring in, to be honest. Especially if we see a Sucker Punch. Turn one. Um... Because we do have Earth Power on Lugia that will be able to hit that for decent damage. We've got uh, the Volcarona as well, which has Overheat, obviously, but it does have Rage Powder as well that can kind of help protect Lugia if the, the Bishop is getting a bit carried away. But getting the Tailwind up now is going to be pretty important for us, I think. So we'll, we'll go down this route, we'll try it. I'm hoping the bishop goes for this sucker punch now. And it fails! And it might go for a knockoff. And it might go for a helping hand knockoff. 
Play rough? What? Breaking a multi scale. <laughs> oh no, this isn't good. Okay, we'll get. I mean, we'll get our tailwind off, but whether this is going to be useful or not. Play rough, Serena. I've seen it all, folks. Um, okay, so we'll get the tailwind up. We'll get a crit boost as well. She's all. Was nice. Knock off. Iron head. Okay. If we get the burn. Come on, burn. Burn! Yes! Volcarona, you are the best, Volcarona. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Volcarona. Um, okay, so we will... We'll go for a Aeroblast into Serena. We'll go for the Rage Powder into uh, Volcarona. Because I imagine Kyogre maybe coming in now, expecting an overheat into that Bishop, potentially, or the Serena. It would make sense. Uh, but an Aeroblast will definitely get the Serena from this range. Um... Bishop burnt, not really doing too much work. So we're not too bad at the minute. We're not too bad um, in this random selection of Pokemon that we've got here is working out so well. I'm sorry if you can like see. I don't know if you can see. Uh, we took. I mentioned like over a week ago. We took Thea to the beach for the first time ever, um, and I got seriously burnt. Like it was my own fault. I didn't put any sun cream on at all. I didn't really think I needed to, it's, it's the UK, it never gets that hot, right? Uh, but it was like, it was like mid-twenties, but the sun must have been super hot that day, and I mean, I'm so burnt across my front of my arms, and I like peeling so bad, it's kind of gross to talk about, but, um, yeah, it's not, it's not ideal, so if you can see, like, it's, it's not like I've not got any, like, weird skin disease, it's just, like, it's just a little bit of dry skin, skin peeling, that's all it is, not that you guys need to know that at all so I'll um, <laughs> I'll just stop talking about it right now we do get the Serena uh, the Bishop goes for a knockoff uh, Lunala gonna make its way onto the field now I wonder if it goes trick room could it go trick room um, hmm. do we expect the trick room uh, I, I'm gonna go earth power into the the Bishop and I'm gonna expect I'm gonna expect a trick room and I'm gonna go whirlwind into the Lunala this could bite us severely in the backside but I just have an inkling with that Kyogre in the back that Lunala will go trick room maybe <sighs> let's hope let's hope so we'll get this we this should pick up the knockout onto Bishop crit or not it's a crit though, we do get it, uh, which is good. So are we gonna see, no, <laughs> no, we're just gonna see a Moon Guys beam. No, <laughs> Luga should should take this, I hope. Yeah, okay. Right, and there's the Whirlwind. Would've been better just going for an attack there. It is the Ogre, the mighty Ogre. Yeah, I'm sorry, I need to stop picking my arms. It's gross. It is the most gross thing ever. But it's a good lesson whenever the sun's out, just to put a bit of bit of protection on, um, so you don't get burned. It's so dangerous as well. Like I had water blisters underneath where I was peeling. That's dangerous. So I am. Um, yeah, I need to be a bit more careful with what I'm doing. We're gonna see the Lunala come back in now, and the two restricteds out for us. Um, okay. Is that tailwind still up? It is. Okay. Uh, we could recover. I don't know how if that's going to really benefit us much. Because what have we got in the back? Wigglytuff Necrozma. Hmm. It's just that Volcarona can't do anything right now. It really can't. Um, it might be worth breaking the Lunala's. Yeah, if we can break the Lunala's Shadow Shield, that might be good. Um, I don't know if I want to go Tailwind though. Um, we'll go Tailwind just to, just to get some sort of speed advantage potentially when we come in. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to see Kyogre go for the Protect here. If we see a Trick Room. Oh, we can't go Tailwind, can we? Because it's just... We're already in Tailwind. What are we doing? Uh, we do break the Shadow Shield, get the crit. There's a Tailwind. Now we're, we're, we're screwed. Royally screwed, I will say. 
because uh, these two are going to go down to whatever Kyogre throws out at us. Um, yeah. I mean, we couldn't have really done anything with Volcarona anyway. Um, we can try Tailwind, but we're going to lose both. And I think it's going to be a case of getting Wigglytuff in. Uh, and praying that 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 a shadow ball can take out this Lunala from this range, which I just I just don't see happening. There's a moon guys beam. It will take down our Lugia. Um and water spout, of course, coming out from the, the ogre. Doing more than it needs to do. To Volcarona, you did a lot of work, my little friend. Um We maybe could have switched the previous turn. Might have been a better answer to do that. But we'll bring in the Crossmire and we'll bring in Wigglytuff. Like I say, I think our best opportunity here is to Shadow Ball the Lunala. Hope that the Wigglytuff Shadow Ball is enough to get the Lunala from this range. I just don't see it happening. I, it, I feel like we're, we're going to need a double protect here. There from Dome Wings. So we'll go for that protect. Um, Shadow Ball into Lunala. Like Wigglytuff should take a water spout. I don't know if we're going to be able to take two water spouts. That's the problem. Oh, we're going to see the Z move. So it's coming out. This might be a loss. It might be a loss. Um, could well be a loss. But. Uh, so into our Dawn Wings. Behind the Protector. Oh, man. The damage is just disgusting, isn't it? There's a water spout. And I mean, even now, it's it's going to be too much because <laughs> Wigglytuff with this. Whose idea was assault vest? It's it's like pointless. You can't even take that. I mean, that is just bad, isn't it? Um, the above. Well. Good go good game, my friend. Uh, you did well to come back in this one and just decimate us. So we are uh, tying up three losses, three wins. Um, and, oh man, that is just... I can't believe. Clef the wiggly tough. I'll keep wanting to call it Clefable as well. It should be Clefable. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scott and Pinko. They nominated it. Um, yeah, I thought it would take that a lot better as well than it did. That's, that was pathetic. I know Water Spout's powerful, but really, <sighs> Wigglytuff looks like it's one of those Pokemon that should t tank those hits, but maybe this is why it's not used that often. Anyway, we've had one win, one loss today, so we're still keeping it even, we're keeping our toes in the water going into the rest of the week. Now, we will be back tomorrow, we're definitely going to activate some buttons tomorrow, so we'll be back, we'll make some changes, and we'll see if we can push on a little bit with this team. So, I will say thank you so much for tuning in, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever you're up to, I look forward to catching up with you all very soon, and um, we'll see you for the next one, so until then, take care, and bye-bye!